Greetings. Welcome to the 2020 State of the University, the annual report on the successes, challenges, and opportunities for the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm here with our socially distanced communications team in the Edith O'Donnell Arts and Technology Lecture Hall. The unusual circumstances in which we are operating this year provides an opportunity to put a new twist on the event by offering it in this virtual format rather than by gathering for a live event. In keeping with tradition, you will also hear from the Speaker of the Faculty for the Academic Senate, Dr. Ravi Prakash, the immediate past president of the Staff Advisory Council, Brooke Schaefer, and this year's president of the student government, Sarah Brennan. My presentation includes a statistical snapshot of the university at the beginning of the new academic year, our responses to the major events of the year, a review of our quantitative targets set forth in our strategic plan, and a look at what lies ahead in the future for UT Dallas. So let's begin. The staggering events of this year changed many of our plans, but our central commitment remained unchanged to be one of the nation's best public research universities. And we are. The 2021 U.S. News and World Report Best Colleges Rankings place us among the top in the country for best quality, high value, low student debt, and ethnic diversity. Our reputation and constant focus on our mission has contributed to good enrollment numbers and successes in faculty recruitment. Our degree completion numbers have been steady with a slight increase in doctorates awarded. And both our research productivity and fundraising increased. I remain cautiously optimistic that the spring semester will find us in an equally positive position. Our academic year was moving right along until March when the global pandemic disrupted everything. Our research, bringing students and guests to our beautiful campus, the residential experience, all required flexibility. In the spirit of one community, we modified our operations and remain focused on how to best teach and conduct research while taking care of one another. By nearly any measure, this has been a difficult year. We are not immune from the societal upheavals around some very important topics centered on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Many of you know that we have formed a Living Our Values Task Force. It is a process in which we must engage and will continue to make a top priority. And all of this, of course, in the context of COVID-19, which is the greatest crisis that universities have faced in over a century. When the strategic plan was written, we established eight metrics to gauge our progress in meeting the university's aspirational goals by academic year 23. We knew that not every initiative in the plan could be easily quantified, but we chose these eight as indications that we were moving forward from academic year 18. Obviously, any assessment will be filtered through the context of this most unusual year. I want to note that we are not too far off course at this time. The quick pivot to adjust operations in the midst of a pandemic could have wrecked great havoc on our progress. But as I mentioned earlier, we have responded to some enormous demands and have held steady in many categories. So, now that we've taken a look at where we are as a university, let's talk about our future. You've probably noticed that I've changed locations. I think that this setting outside the newly constructed sciences building is a fitting choice for a discussion of what lies ahead. This new building houses the Department of Physics and expands our teaching and research capacity with more classrooms and labs. Even as we adapted for the pandemic, we made great progress on planned improvements to campus. We will continue to make decisions on projects that are essential and support our teaching and research missions. For instance, we have secured $90 million for construction of the Biomedical Engineering and Sciences Building. This will be located on the UT Southwestern campus as part of our increasing footprint in the Dallas Medical District. However, the decisions we make in the near term require flexibility as we respond to our circumstances. Because of the pandemic, universities across the state most likely will continue to incur expenses and experience lost revenue. At UT Dallas, we have taken steps to address these financial concerns and will continue to do so. Even after the significant reductions and reallocations, our current fiscal year 2021 revenue is $35 million below pre-COVID expectations. One of the most significant challenges in front of us is the forecast of budget shortfalls that the Texas State Legislature must work through and the implications that it has for our funding. Our priorities going into the upcoming legislative session are to maintain the formula funding gains we achieved in the previous biennium, to maintain funding for the Texas Research Incentive Program, to restore the 5% cuts mandated by the state, 
and seek reimbursement for costs from our response to the coronavirus crisis. Certainly, the importance and purpose of a research university has never been more important to our state and nation than now. We are committed to an ideal that education can make a difference by bringing students and faculty together in a manner that expands and develops the student's full potential. Faculty also benefit in this exchange of ideas with bright scholars. To support this ideal, we must be looking to our supporters to invest in us through a comprehensive fundraising campaign. Contributions will help us to attract talented faculty, staff, and students to advance research and to enrich the arts. Our positive giving trends over the last year bode well for a successful campaign. All of the material that has been covered in my remarks is presented in detail online. I invite you to take some time and review this information. In summary, I must thank the UT Dallas family for your courage in facing these months of doubt and unknown challenge. We have faced some extremely difficult days, but we have persevered. Classes have continued, education has progressed, and we have collectively done what was needed to fight and endure despite the challenges. The shadows of this dark time are not permanent and they will pass. I have watched with immense pride as you have responded to the crucial needs of our community. You have not only upheld our great purpose as a university, but also demonstrated immense compassion for each other. When something needed to be done, I can count on each of you, always and without exception. As a measure of appreciation for your hard work and in recognition of the collective effort throughout the year, I am designating December 21st as Comets United Day. Please enjoy this additional one day to your winter break. Finally, let me say that I am confident that there are many opportunities ahead for UT Dallas. We can and we will emerge stronger and better. Together, let's lean into that bright future. Whoosh.